The city of Pueblo is preparing to say goodbye to their first mayor in over 80 years. Heather Graham will be sworn in on Thursday. Nick Gratisar lost to Graham in the city's mayoral runoff race last week by a 24% margin. Later this week, those votes will be certified. And 11 News anchor Grace Kramer is joining us live in the newsroom. And you were with Gratisar the night uh, those results came in last week. Gratisar made a speech right after conceding the race and congratulating Graham on that win. He says now he's going to step away from politics and enjoy his retirement. In an election, you never know what the outcome is. We didn't have any polls. We worked hard. Nick Gratisar tells me that while he's disappointed he lost re-election for the city of Pueblo mayor, he can't help but be proud of his time in office. When I became mayor, we had no homeless shelter in the city of Pueblo. We established a permanent 100-bed homeless shelter, and in the last 60 days, we've opened up a permanent warming shelter. He adds that he spent a lot of time trying to address crime in the city. We've hired 70 new police officers. We're setting up a real-time crime center to help uh, work smarter uh, in terms of controlling crime and making our officers more effective. After nearly two decades of public service, Gratisar will be leaving behind an initiative he worked hard to adopt, the strong mayor government system. When I leave, I'm done. I don't get any severance package. I don't get any accumulated sick leave, no accumulated vacation. When previous leaders have left in the city manager system, hundreds of thousands of dollars was paid out in severance pay. So I think this uh, demonstrates the wiseness of moving to this new system of government. Gratisar says he looks forward to slowing down and working on rental properties with his brother. Reporting in the newsroom, Grace Kramer, KKTV 11 News. Grace, thank you. I also spoke with Pueblo's mayor-elect, Heather Graham, one-on-one -on -one last week. We discussed together her plans when she becomes the city's second strong mayor. You can watch that interview right now on our website at kktv.com.